بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیس کنٹینیو دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف آر ڈیریویشن آئی تھنک ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو وی کیم اپ وتھ ڈی وی ایف زی وی ہیو کنورٹیڈ آر اکویژن ان اے فارم آف اے فیزر وچ واز آرز آف پرائم پلس جے او میگا ایل آف پرائم اینڈ آئی تھنک دیٹ واز آئی زی ایف ایم ناٹ مسٹیکن یس اٹ واز آئی ایف زی And this was d i of z over dz is equals to g of prime plus j omega c of prime v of z. All right, we end up with this equation using a transmission line model. All right, and let's manipulate this a little bit more and come up with other forms as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. The first thing I'm going to start doing is this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a derivative of both of these sides. The first thing I'll do, I'll take a derivative of both of these sides with respect to d over dz. Same thing I'll do for the uh, other one as well. Let's do it for the first one. All right, so once I take a derivative of it, this is actually a first derivative. Now this would become second derivative v of z. Okay. Once I take a derivative of both of these sides, now this would becomes R's of prime plus J omega L of prime. And once I change this into derivative, this would become I of delta Z divided by delta Z. This is the first thing that will become. Now, I'm going to make few replace a uh, few replacements. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make this as is D to V of E. z dz2 right this is a second derivative and i know something about diz over dz i know diz over dz is actually j of prime plus j omega c of prime whole thing multiplied by v of z i'm going to make that placement so r of prime plus j omega l of prime which is this guy and i'm going to make this replacement with this But there is a negative sign here. So I'm going to bring this negative out here. And this is going to be G of prime plus J omega C of prime. Whole thing multiplied by V of C. All right. Are we good so far? Okay. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this whole thing equals to zero. Once I make this whole thing equals to zero, I'll end up with this equation. So let's let's take this guy. Let's move this guy over here. So when I move this guy over here, this would become second derivative v of z d z two. When I move this guy over here, minus r of prime plus j omega l of prime multiplied by g of prime plus j omega c of prime v delta z. v tilde z is equals to zero. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this guy gamma squared. Okay. I'm going to call this guy gamma squared, and gamma squared is actually gamma is actually complex propagation constant. Constant. All right. This whole thing. Actually, complex propagation constant. So let's look at what gamma is. Gamma is actually consists of alpha plus j beta, where alpha is my attenuation constant, and beta is your phase constant. All right. So, if you were to look at the form of gamma, gamma is isn't isn't in a form of r plus and minus j of x, where x could could be capacitive reactance or it could be inductive reactance, and r is actually the resistance. So, attenuation constant indeed is a real term, and that resistance will actually decrease or it will attenuate my signal strength. 
that makes sense because resistance why we are calling it alpha alpha is actually coming from the resistance of that material whatever the material that i'm using to make that transmission line so alpha is the guy actually who's actually attenuating my signal and that is with respect to the resistance of that material beta is some just some phase constant which is beta is given by 2 pi by lambda right so far so good so once i make that replacement and here's another thing so attenuation constant phase constant the whole thing is known as propagation constant so i'll make that replacement right now so second derivative of v of z minus the whole thing is being replaced with gamma squared times v of z i'll end up with this equation when I pick up this equation and I take a derivative of both of these sides and I'll make that replacement again, I will come up with the second equation, which will be in terms of my current gamma square uh, of C. These are very two important equations. If you have seen my Maxwell equation derivation video, we actually came up with the same thing. We had a gamma term. Everything was exactly the same. But these quantities were in terms of electric and magnetic field. So this gamma. So these are known as wave equation. Wave equation. Uh, in voltage. And current form. All right, these are known as wave equation uh, 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 in, in voltage and current form. All right, so one last thing I'm going to say about gamma is this. Gamma squared is this. R of prime plus J omega L of prime. G of prime plus J omega C of prime. But what is gamma itself? So gamma is just going to be a square root of this point. So gamma is actually going to be square root of R plus J omega L G plus J omega C. All right. So we're going to manipulate this a little bit more. And we're going to come up with some definition of voltage reflection coefficient and swrs and things like that so i hope you like this small tutorial on telegraphers uh, equations and in a form of voltages and current and if you have any questions leave it in a comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel